Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamala and welcome back to my laboratory. So today we're going to play around in Canva and try and recreate this flyer that I saw on Instagram. If you like this video, you learned something new, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, to begin the tutorial, we're just going to start off with an eight and a half by 11 size paper. And I'm just going to go over here to my uploads and insert the picture that we'll be trying to recreate today. This is just a screenshot from an Instagram post that I saved um, like a week ago, I think. And we're just going to make it bigger. Okay, so now that we have that, we're just going to go ahead and add a blank page. And then we'll go ahead and start trying to recreate this. So the first thing we're going to do is get our background. So now it looks like right here, um, her background is like some kind of like bar lounge kind of thing. So we're just going to go ahead over to our two photos. And I do want to mention that I am using Canva Pro. So some of the features that I'm using or you see me use may not be available to you if you don't have Canva Pro. Okay, so this is for Canva Pro. So, okay, so I'm over here in photos and I'm going to type in lounge. Let me type in bar lounge. And, you know, you can just grab whatever uh, photo you want. I like this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. Then I'm going to right click on it and set it as our image background. Okay, so up here in the photo, her she has like a purplish tint to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click my photo and we're going to go to effects. And over here for dual tone, we're going to use a dual tone um, feature and Let's see what the fuchsia looks like. Okay, fuchsia is okay, but let's try. I think cherry works better. Oh, wait. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead with cherry. Okay, so we have our background. So now let's go ahead and add our text. So her text is like kind of like bubbly neon. So of course, it's not going to be exact, but we're just going to see what we can find that is similar. So in the search text box, I'm just going to go ahead and type in neon and see what results come up. So for our neon options, I think I think this the 22 and turning 22 might be like pretty similar. So I'm going to go ahead and use this text. Of course, we're going to bring that down to our blank page. I'm going to erase the turning part because we don't want that. We really just want 22. And I'm just going to type in J Stewart's. Of course, we need to change the size of the text. Let's just do 144 for now. Okay. 
Okay, so we'll go with that. Let's highlight our text and go up here to effects and see if we can give it, cause, because we can change the thickness of the lines. Let's see if that'll give it more of a, a glow. See what happens if nope, that is not what we want. Okay. Okay, I think I think that's cool. Okay, so we have that. So let's go ahead with add some more text. We're gonna do this text right here, and it's kind of like bubblish. Let me make this just a little bit smaller. So let's find a similar text to the one on top. And I saw it earlier. Okay, so we'll go with this one. Oh. I double clicked it. Hold on. I can erase feeling because I we just need one. Okay. Bring the sides down. Sit that right on top. Maybe make it a little bit. Well, hers spreads out all the way through, so. Okay, so we'll go with that. Just wanted to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so that looks cool. We can change it again if we need to. So let's go ahead and insert like the image right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead to my uploads and I'm going to choose this picture. And of course, I'm just gonna go ahead to effects and remove my background. And again, that is a Canva Pro feature. So if you guys don't have Canva Pro by now, I highly suggest that you get it. Okay, so now that our background is gone, let me just move these lines in a little bit. Make that a little bit bigger. maybe even just a tad more bigger okay so you see in the her picture let me zoom in for you guys she has like kind of like a a glow around her right so we want to try and get that glow so what we're going to do is duplicate our picture let me zoom out just a little bit we're going to duplicate our picture Move it to the side a little bit so we can work with it better. We're going to go up here to effects. And we're going to add a dual tone. Same way as we did for our background. Now, mm, let me see. I think maybe blush might be a good dual tone for, yeah. So we want this one to be just a tad bit bigger than the original. And we're going to go to position and move it backward. 
because of course we want this one behind the original. Okay, I think that works. And we're not done just yet, so don't click off. So we're going to go ahead over here to adjust while we still have our dual tone highlighted and go to this blur line and you can adjust like you, you see you guys see in the back like how um, it's like glowing so we can adjust that you can this is where it looks like if it's all the way to 100 but hers doesn't necessarily glow like that it's more like an outline so let me bring it down and see So I have it at 14, and I think that's actually pretty good. Maybe make it a tad. Make a few adjustments. Yeah, I want it like. There we go. Okay, that looks a little bit better. See, just like a little bit of a glow going around me. And so now that we have that part, we're going to go ahead and add this text. And to do that, we're just going to go over here back to the text box. And let's just click on Add Heading. And uh, what did this? It says Thursday, so I'll say. Tuesday because I'm going to use this picture as a thumbnail for Tuesday's tutorial. So we'll say Tuesday. Move that up here. And then we can just look for like a skinny font. Okay, so for the text, I ended up, ended up using Anton. And now we need more text. This part, this cursive part right here. So I'm just going to just duplicate that and type in J. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the text again. Just, I guess any kind of cursive would work. Let me see what this looks like. Playlist is like my go-to, but that doesn't look cute right there. So we're just going to use um, Bakery Bowl. What does this one look like? No. So we're just going to use Bakery Bowl. We're just going to make this smaller. Okay, so let's turn it. Just rotate it just a little bit. And so for this line right here, we're just going to go over here to Elements. And we'll type in Line. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. Oh, drag that down here. Turn it. Make it a little smaller. Smaller. Well, mm. Make 
this is a bit bigger. Okay, so now let's go back to our line, move it up, and just try and curve it along the text and just extend it a little bit. And we need to change the color of this. And the one thing I like about Canva is like whenever you're working on a project, it always puts like um, your project colors under the color panel. So that just helps you keep everything like coordinated so you don't have to go through searching. I'm just going to change that line as well. Same color as the text. So now we need like this little text right here. We're just going to go back to the text box. And we're just going to click add subheading. Of course, we need to move this down to our second page. Just move the whole project down. So we're just going to put laboratory right here. And then the photo up here is like a little bit off to the side. So I'm just going to do that. And it's a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to make that smaller. Then we're going to go over here to the little body of text and write piece in. And just. I think that's what it looks like. I don't know. It's like kind of under here. Yep. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to duplicate this because this Thursday and the date pretty much look the same as far as text wise. So tomorrow's date is December 15th. Well, guys, we have 10 days to Christmas. <laughs> I just realized that. Okay. And make that a little bit bigger. Yes. And I want to go up here to effects. No, not effects, but colors and change the color of that text. And this needs to be changed as well. Oh, I keep hitting effects. I need to go to colors. Um, and that's it, you guys. I think, um, I mean, of course, it's not close because we don't know the fonts and things. That we used and of course I'm sure this was done in a different program but it's pretty close and I just wanted to show you guys something else that you can do in Canva so if you wanted to create a flyer or even like I'm going to use this as a thumbnail or you can even make it hers as an Instagram post so there is so many things that you can do in Canva you guys and I just wanted to show you how I could recreate this and it was actually pretty simple we just used a few different fonts. Um, we did use a photo from Canva Pro, but um, I think that was it. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.